This will be a store tour of the two Yonkers stores at the Kennedy Mall in Dubuque, Iowa. It's Yonkers' biggest super sale ever! And it's going on now! Hurry in for super... Super sale! Yonkers originally opened at the Kennedy Mall way back in 1968. In the mid-1980s, another anchor store closed, and Yonkers decided to take over the space for a men's, children's, and home store. The existing Yonkers store now only featured women's clothing. In 2016, both stores were extensively remodeled, if you use the magical time machine that is Google Street View, you can go and see what they used to look like. In 2018, Yonkers parent company, The Bon Ton, declared bankruptcy and tried to find a buyer. They found a buyer, but it was two liquidation firms who then are in the process of currently shutting down every single Bon Ton store. We are going to first explore the women's store. This store only features women's clothing, cosmetics, and shoes. At this point in the liquidation sale, prices were out of scam phase and had moved into normal price phase. Right here is the shoe department that was remodeled in 2016. This whole store looks really good. It it just looks honestly it's one of the nicest Bonton stores I've been in. And they like the merchandise is great here. It's bright. Staff here always seems friendly. It's really a shame that this store and all the other Bonton stores are closing. Right here is probably one of the dumbest things I've seen in a store. Okay, so do you see that sign that says, like, arrow, bathroom, straight ahead? And right next to that is a sign that contradicts it. It says, women's bathrooms on the left, men's to the right. Then you look for the men's bathroom on the right, you don't see it. Then you have to look around the corner, like, like hidden from that wall, is the men's bathroom. Something that I've never seen at a Yonkers or Carson's before is them scattering these pieces of pottery throughout the store. If you, you might have noticed this or you might have not, but there's these pottery pieces just laid out in random places throughout the store. It's a very unique detail and it makes the store, in my opinion, just feel classier. As you can see, this women's store is not really all that big. Now try to imagine them having kids, men, and home stuff here. It must have been extremely crowded. That's why when another department store uh, closed, they decided they'd take over their space. Now if you take a look, this is the mall entrance for the women's store. It looks pretty good, actually. And right now, you're looking at the vertical jump place and Yonkers. The vertical jump used to be Sears, but Sears closed in 2015. We'll talk more about that later. And unlike the women's store, this store is two floors.
even a month into this closing sale, if they just take down these liquidation sale signs, the store would look like normal. The, the, the management and staff here have been doing a really good job at keeping the store intact. There really was not much competition for Yonkers in town, and because of that, they did really well here in Dubuque. This mall also has a JCPenney and a Dick's Sporting Goods, but it was anchored by two Yonkers, and they're going to have a really hard time trying to fill this space. They filled the Sears up, but now they have two major empty spaces to fill. I mean, I don't think any other department store really has much interest to come to Dubuque, Iowa. This kid's department is super cool in my opinion, it just outright screams 90s. Some of these details in this store are awesome, and the, the way they presented this is just amazing. Let's just take a second to, you know, appreciate the tile floor here. Here's some coats. Normally these would be on deep, deep discount because this was filmed in May, but uh, because liquidation sale, they were only 35% off. Right now, we're gonna head upstairs and check out the home department. Right when you get upstairs, your eye is immediately caught by this mall entrance on the second floor, even though the mall is one floor. There's a little of a history behind this. When they subdivided the space between Sears and Yonkers, they kept the escalator from Roshek slash Armstrong, that's who was previously in this space, and what they did is you could take the escalator up and you would just be going into the second floor of Sears or Yonkers. However, when Sears closed in 2016 or 2015, I don't know the exact year, they uh, closed off this entrance because there was no point of having it anymore. department, another kind of rarish thing for Yonkers. This escalator atrium is really cool. In the past, I've always thought this area was really strange, but I'd really never bothered to look back here. I think this used to be the customer service desk, but then they ripped it out, and you can still kind of sneak back into the offices. I don't know if they're used anymore, but there's some stuff back there. Sales weren't really this good to try to terrorize this department to make it look like a war zone. Oh my god. I don't understand how people have no decency to put stuff back. Why do they have to turn things into a giant mess? This is worse than Goodwill. The 
store is otherwise in amazing shape besides this one section of the home department. How did they let it slide so much? I'm really sad to see this store close. I've been shopping here for years, and this has been one of my favorite Bon Ton stores. Losing Yonkers is a really big deal for Dubuque, as they will be relegated to JC Penny and Kohl's. Places like Dubuque are where Yonkers and Bon Ton truly thrived. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate that you have made it till the end. If you'd like to watch no more retail related videos, I would suggest clicking on one of these great videos on the screen. Thank you.